Hey guys, it's Miss Sweetie. Today is Monday, April 20th, and we are doing lesson seven of geology today. Today is a little bit different um, because it's mostly going to be fictional text because it's about myths and volcanoes. So you're going to be reading some um, ancient myths from Hawaii and also from Native Americans, and um, they're going to basically explain how people kind of got their head around volcanoes back in the day when they didn't have science to explain them. So these are your lesson objectives. This is reviewing a myth. We kind of touched on that, but in case you don't remember what a myth is, a myth is a traditional story, especially one concerning the early history of a people, so a group of people, are explaining some natural or social phenomenon and typically involving supernatural beings or events. So we read some myths this year. Um, and they're used to explain things that we don't necessarily understand. Um, I believe at one point we read one that people used to believe about why spiders build webs. Um, it was like an ancient Roman Greek myth. Um, the other example I put in here, I know that my class definitely read this one, is um, we read Persephone being away from her mother Demeter, the, um, the Greek goddesses. That, that was the reason why we had seasons, because um, Persephone was basically forced to live with Hades in the underworld for part of the year, and in the other part of the year she was living with Demeter. So remember that these are made-up stories that people used to tell long, 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 long times ago, before we had um, science to kind of explain why things happened. So back when they didn't have science, or they didn't have the means to explain why we had seasons, they made up these stories, um, and that helped them, like, kind of, try to understand why things are happening in their world. So, this is your vocabulary today for chapter 5. The uh, first word is offering. Second word is strong-willed. Third word is bitter. Fourth word is outsmart. Fifth word, revenge. Sixth word, caldera. Seventh, lofty. Eight, eternal. And nine, elder. So, per usual, you will have a um, Google form that you need to complete based off of these vocabulary words. Remember that I can tell if you're actually doing the lesson or not based off of how many you get correct because the answers are all right here. Um, if you're getting like one or two correct out of nine, I know that you didn't actually do the lesson because you could easily go back and um, check your work. All right, so you, this is a pronunciation guide as well. I told you that there's um, a lot of Hawaiian words in here, Hawaiian native words, and then there's also some Native American words. So, um, and you might hear me, if you listen to the audio, you'll hear me try to pronounce them um, correctly. I tried to use this as much as I could. Um, but if you're reading it by yourself, this is how you pronounce um, a lot of the names that are in the chapter. Uh, but you're going to read chapter 5, Mythic Volcano, Volcano Spirits, independently. You can listen to the audio recording while you follow along, but make sure that you are actually, like if you're doing the audio recording, which is right here, you click on right here, you also have opened the reader um, in a new tab. Make sure that you're doing that by click right clicking and then writing open link in new tab. Um, some people are having an issue with opening it and it not being in a new tab. So you're going to go to chapter five, you scroll down quite a bit, um, and you are going to read the myths lesson. Now, after you finish um, reading, you're kind of going to do something cool today. I think it's kind of fun. So you're not really researching a volcano. You're going to do a volcano scavenger hunt. So this is what the doc looks like. It says volcano scavenger hunt. Search Google to find volcanoes on each continent of the earth. Write the name of the volcano in the second column. For the third column, write which country the volcano can be found in. So no, there's no current, there's currently no volcano found in Australia, which is kind of interesting. So find another volcano and write the continent and country. So let's say you do Asia twice, or you do Africa twice, or you do whatever you can pick. Um, but pick one of the continents, and you're going to have to do it twice. So what I mean by this is, so North America, right? I'm going to open up Google, and I'm literally going to search for volcanoes. In North, I've already done this, so it kind of knows I'm going to do it. Volcanoes in North America, boom, like all these volcanoes pop up. You're going to pick one of them, and you're going to tell me where it is. So let's say I pick Kilauea. You can't, so don't pick this one because I already picked it. So Kilauea is actually one of, the one that you're going to talk about today in the reading, which is kind of cool. 
um, it is in Hawaii. So what I would write then is I would write Kilauea. I'm going to probably write it wrong. Kila, Kilauea. And then the country is actually the United States. And I'm going to write Hawaii next to it. So I know which state it is just because I know that. So that's a literally all I'm doing. It's actually kind of cool. There's a lot of volcanoes in North America that I didn't know about, which is where we live. Um, but like I said, there's not one in Australia, so you're going to have to pick another continent to do. So you could pick, like, I don't want you to do Kilauea because I just did that, and that's the one we read about. But you could pick, like, Europe and put Europe down here. You could put Asia or you could put Antarctica. So whatever you decide to do again, you're going to put in that column. So make sure that you do this, complete it, submit it to me. Make sure you complete and submit the Google Forms so you can get full credit. Remember that anything that is not all the way complete or it's turned in blank, will not earn you entrance into the pizza raffle for this week. Um, congratulations to Tavion for winning last week. Um, you might get credit for completing the work, but you, if you're not completing it well, you're definitely not going to earn a ticket for the raffle. So make sure you're doing the work to the best of your ability. See you soon.